On the eastern side of Lake Huron, you'll find Georgian Bay, Perry Sound, and the home of Found Aircraft of Canada, makers of the Expedition 350. I'm Jeff Van West for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. We're going to take a closer look at this bush plane that has a nice slice of refinement. Here's Drew Hamblin of Found Aircraft Canada to tell us some more. Expedition Aircraft is uh, based on a uh, design that was uh, uh, designed by Bud Found, uh, the gentleman uh, behind Found Aircraft Canada. Uh, the critical differences between the, the Bushhawk XP, which is the predecessor uh, from the, uh, the Expedition E350, uh, the tricycle gear being the, uh, the, the real major item. Uh, it's a wider cabin, uh, a more uh, uh, plush interior, a uh, better avionics uh, and uh, panel suite. Uh, we've kept some of the utility, but added more of the creature comforts uh, that a general aviation pilot would be looking at uh, in a new aircraft. It has an interior that uh, can accommodate uh, 1,500 pounds useful on the useful load, but also have uh, uh, rear seats that are easily removable to uh, go back and forth between passenger or passenger cargo mix or strictly cargo mix. Uh, and access to the cabin uh, that has a 53-inch cabin, which is one of the widest cabins in general aviation. The benefit also of this aircraft is a steel frame, and what goes along with uh, the steel frame is uh, the ability to put four doors on the aircraft. And what you get is uh, pretty much unmatched uh, accessibility to the cabin. Uh, for five uh, occupants in there, they're able to get in and out through four doors. And uh, the doors also incorporate a huge uh, uh, window uh, that uh, gives you pretty much uh, unmatched uh, visibility out, uh, out the side for passengers and pilot. Fully loaded, uh, well, you'll see in the, in the neighborhood about 750 to 800 feet uh, take off ground roll. And then you're seeing climb outs uh, well around the 1,000 feet per minute uh, at, at gross. And then your cruise speeds at 8,000 feet are seeing around 156 to 160 knots. Landing performance is uh, similar to the takeoff. Uh, over 50 foot obstacle would be in the neighborhood of about 1,400 feet. Uh, you have uh, an aircraft that is able to go on backcountry airstrips along with asphalt airstrips. You have an aircraft that can go on uh, not only Tundra tires but on uh, straight floats, amphibious floats. Uh, it has uh, incredible performance with the uh, 315 horsepower engine. As you can hear. We did more than here. We hopped in serial number one belonging to Canadian dealer Wendy Lozon and tried it out. The nose wheel is free castering, but the rudder is effective almost as soon as the aircraft is rolling. The big surprise with the E350 was how light it was on the controls. We expected a solidity similar to a Cessna 206, but forces are much lighter, so it's super responsive at low speed, while comfortably stable at its cruise speed of 150 knots or so. The high power quadrant and huge cabin give it a mini de Havilland beaver feel, which is probably just what the designers had in mind. Visibility out the sides is phenomenal. Visibility out the front is good, but the glare shield is fairly high. The seats can't adjust vertically. The cabin is quite comfortable and truly huge for the people up front and the folks in back. Here's Drew Hamblin again. Uh, the aircraft is uh, based at uh, 495,000 US. Uh, it comes with the G500 panel, uh, which is uh, backed up by the uh, Garmin 430 WAS, the Garmin audio panel and, uh, and transponder. Uh, IFR is uh, easily done with a second 430, and uh, we keep the panel uh, versatile uh, with the ability to uh, customize it and uh, put as much or as little as you want, and that's one of the benefits of a non-integrated panel. Uh, we're looking at uh, the turbocharged model uh, available uh, uh, mid-2011 and tailwheel uh, later on in 2011. If you want to find out more about the E350, you can check out Expedition Aircraft's website at www.expeditionaircraft.com or you can check out the November issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. I'm Jeff Van West for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.